Join us today as we go to the Vietnamese Bonsai Society show here in Garden Grove. Really awesome looking tanuki. Really well done. <laughs> nice chunky looking, uh, nice looking ficus. Nice pot. <laughs> There's a nice Chinese elm. Nice ramification on that one. There's a nice shampaku. There's a nice uh, small shampaku with some really good deadwood features. Really well done. This is a really nice olive. I <clears throat> wouldn't suspect to have a cut in the front, but it's well padded out. Look at the cut in the front. It's a really old trunk. Wouldn't expect to cut them in the front like that, but it's well done, well proportioned. Nice olive. Here's a nice uh, California juniper. Still has the uh, original foliage. You can see the foliage pads here. Really nice one. So have the dead wood on the outside. Here's another uh, tanuki of a California juniper skeleton, but it's in, in a windswept, done well with the uh, carving right down the middle. Here's really nice uh, sabimaki, which means that the dead wood's down the center. Really well done. You can see it's like hollowed out. Not hollow, it's like a shari that runs right down the middle like a lightning strike. Really nice patterns. It looks like a femina. Really well done. Here's an olive. Here's a massive California juniper. Scale done really well, really padded out. Let me see, uh, let's, let's look under the skirt really quick. Let's see, really well done. Everything's padded out for the show. That's a lot of work. Beautiful specimen. Here it looks like a ficus regida. regida. Really nice movement on that trunk. Good scale. There's a uh, assortment of trees. Really large scales. There's another uh, big California juniper. Nice deadwood features. Also patterned well. Look at the skirt. The hard part about California junipers is really the deadwood features. How do you shorten or make them blunt to make them realistic? That, that takes a really a, a good carving artist to really finish that piece off, but the padding is well done on this one. A lot of people hear me uh, going down the middle here really quick. 
Here's an unusual um, decay, which is a succulent. Well padded out, almost like a formal upright. It's a beautiful tree. So ficus with a uh, nice little bari on it. Some stoneworks. <clears throat> There's a Yopon Holly. That's a big scale. Let's look under the skirt. A little padded out. It's these cloud formations. Beautiful tree. Here's an olive grove on a slab. Here's a Chinese elm. Here's another California Tanuki. I mean, it's a great use of uh, dead wood. Especially, it's kind of wasted when you collect them and they don't grow. Uh, if you don't know what a Tanuki is, Tanuki is using a skeleton of a juniper that's passed away and then you graft onto it, onto the dead wood. So, it's well done though. Well done. They have another center rail table. I think I'm walking the back side, looks like. That's a, that's a difficult of having an aisleway like this. Is how do you display that front of that tree? Let's see which ones are front or back. Beautiful uh, Shampaku. Oh. Okay. There's a beautiful olive. It's a beautiful, beautiful tree. It's the, most, it's the nicest olive tree I've ever seen. It's scaled, I mean, the taper is beautiful. The padding's are right at the right spot, too. I mean, the taper, if you look at the taper of the uh, branches, they're, they're well tapered. Yes, yeah, yeah. You cut and then it's grow. Yeah, you trade it, yeah. But look at that taper all the way up that tree. It's a beautiful olive. But the good thing is it manages well. I'll come back to this tree. Here's a prostrata. That's a huge prostrata, I have to say. Uh, looks like they treated the dead wood with a uh, colored um, dye. Not a bad tree. I mean, it's beautiful movement. And of course, you got an olive force over here. Can you go back to this forest real quick? Here we have a Prostrata forest. It's done well. Good scaling. It's well done. I think it's uh, just well padded out. Especially the uh, interlacing of those dead, dead trees in the center or the deadwood trees in the center. It looks really realistic. I mean, it was one of my, in my opinion, one of my favorite forests I've seen in a while. Okay, we got these uh, smaller stone. I mean, that's a really beautiful stone, by the way. There's another, uh, looks like a side case scene. Some of these trees are done well. Here's almost like a pinging style tree. Venture landscape. Another one there. There's the main tree that's coming in. Well, there you go. There's the Vitney show here in Garden Grove. It runs this uh, weekend, the 20th, oh, sorry, 20th, July 2nd to, to the 3rd. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. This will be a short one, but um, it's worth coming down. Some of these really magnificent trees, kind of seeing real person, especially those two trees I just noticed over there, which is that olive and that forest. This is awesome. But most of these trees are well done, okay? 
If you guys like, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.